CIA chief says China has big threat to U.S. as Russia. Hello to you all. This is Oromia Broadcasting Network News, and I'm Thomas Kamalato. Those were the headlines. Now news in detail. Secretary General of the United Nations Antonio Guterres says attention would be given to peacekeeping mission in Africa and off Africa. Now Umsar Mas reports. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has briefed journalists on cooperation of Africa Union and the United Nations. He stated that an army of success is achieved through both organizations' partnership. Guterres announced that Africa Union and United Nations signed a platform on common agendas. We have signed uh, last week our platform of cooperation to align the Agenda 2030 of Sustainable Development approved by all countries in the world in the General Assembly of the United Nations with the agenda of the African Union for 2063. Uh, we will be working together, the African Union and the UN, on these two agendas. There will be only one reporting line in relation to them in order to make sure that we fully converge in our support to the African populations in development matters. He expressed that Africa Union is a global strategic partner of United Nations and development is in the center of the partnership. The Secretary General also announced that two strategies planned for peacekeeping operations in Africa. Our strategy will be based on two directions. First, to seriously discuss with the Security Council, with troop contributing countries and with financial contributing countries, a redesign of uh, peacekeeping forces in the larger operations that we have in Africa. Second, to make sure that we have forces that are better equipped, better prepared, better led, with more mobility, more agility, more able to be proactively uh, developing its section of protecting the populations and the protecting of the peacekeepers themselves. And at the same time, with more support for the international by the international community, from troop contributing countries to the Security Council in order to have the adequate mandates, but also the political support and the financial support that is needed. Antonio Guterres emphasized that he believes at African-driven and African-led solutions. He added that Africa is a force for good in the world. The first African satellite and the space science school opened in Finfine City. The Oromo youth who established Finfine International Space Education said that Having the satellite has a greater importance for the country. Muktara has more on that. Samuel Murga and Elias Yurdo have been deployed on the work of scientific and technology innovation to solve problems scientifically. They said they have been invented different technologies before. I have been taking part in different competitions at regional level on behalf of youth. I've invented different machines that intended to solve different problems of our society. They have been also taking part on international competition organized by NASA. They have been working to establish the science and technology schools in Ethiopia. Accordingly, the Finfin International Space Education School have established to further further the expansion of science and technology innovation in the country. Without delay, we have to we have taken part in the Science and Technology Innovation Competition organized by NASA on behalf of Infinfine International Space Education School. On the competition, our innovation has got recognition by NASA and hereafter would be competed on behalf of the African nation. Head of the Oromia Science and Technology Development Agency, Dr. Taisa Kaba said, the establishment of International Space Education School would help the country to have its own satellite ahead. As a nation and as a country, we need chance of working out to overcome problems. In this regard, the contribution of these innovations holds is more significant for the our use in the future. On the event, it has been said that satellite has a paramount role to the work of a media forecast weather condition, agricultural development, transportation activities, and it is based for advanced civilization. With an Institute of Science and Technology Astro Branch, Associated Professors Faisal Debosad, the work of innovating satellite at home would curb the expenditure for renting satellite ahead. 
ሆጋቶ ኮት ናኖ ብሎኒ ዲፖቶ ኮፊን ተማከ ገውቱ ራርገም the satellites would generate about 150 billion per per year so the benefit of the satellite is very great in the country different youths have been taking part in creating and innovating models of the rocket weapon different work of innovations that would advance the work of space research have been inaugurated in Fifine city those have been preparing themselves to take part in NASA challenge Ethiopia on the behalf of African nations the scholar said the Oromo economic revolution has created huge economic movement among the nation they say to build a robust economy, creating enormous job opportunities, is decisive. Let us raise our presence. Experts who have a discussion with Obi and stress the importance of economy for a given society. Wagdragada is an economic expert. Economy is a pillar for every society's livelihood. Faitu Tula is a finance expert. She emphasized that economic strength is vital for everything. In capitalism, economy is the source of right power. The more you are economically stronger, the more you will be in all things. She said, Lami Tujo is a lawyer. The goal of everyone, including world leaders, is about having money in their life. The experts have forwarded their ideas and opinion on how to bring economic revolution. All societies should aware about this, starting from grassroots level. They underscore that the economic revolution started in Oromia has brought tremendous inspiration. We used to work on these issues individually by establishing different institutions, but what the Oromia regional government started is creating economic inspiration, she said. According to them, business activities were begun in the country by Oromo. Business idea was purposed by Oromo Nation for the first time in the existing realm. For instance, when a Washington National Bank was established, the directives were designed by Oromo people, even though there was laws to establish private banks. The other banks were also founded by these directives. However, the challenge was lack of favorable system for it. The experts underline that there is huge opportunity for Oromo people to become economically strong in a sustainable way. Capital labor land entrepreneur one nation usana. I believe that we have capital, labor, land and entrepreneurs. We have all this. If we cooperate, we can establish huge financial institution. We have untapped natural resource as well as human resource. There is also a system which enables us to do what we want, she said. The Oromo Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission stated that the Oromo people should fight against corruption that hinders development of the nation. The Commission has celebrated the 12th World Anti-Corruption Day. Look how Andumu has the story. The World Anti-Corruption Day was celebrated in Adama Romia. That day was celebrated at world level for the 14th time, in the country level for 13th time, and in Oromia Regional State for 12th time. That day was celebrated by the team of defending corruption and wrongdoing, sustaining development in divisors of the region. <laughs> Commissioner Abubaka Badel, the Oromia anti-corruption here said, when celebrate the day, it should give attention for Oromo values. We all have to give attention for Oromo values and norms. It is also said that in the commission works are underway to make the commission out of corruption. The vision of the commission are to create a responsible future citizens and have the participation of all citizens. Commissioner Ababa also said corruption doesn't belong to Oromo people. <laughs> Corruption is admirable, which means it's not the domain of our culture, so that all have to play his or her part in fighting corruption. President of the Oromia Supreme Court, Adesuka Benisa, for his past said, corruption will hinder a country's development. 
We can combat and minimize corruption if we sustain our fighting on in the celebration discussions on the works of commissioners get attention. The work which we began is totally acceptable. We will save the generation and the country if we sustain our work on it. We try to look our work performance. After this, we have to work hard in our weakness sites. We have to give a great attention for organizations in which corruption is widely seen. The workers of fighting corruption will never be workers of the commission annually. The celebration of this anti-corruption day will take place up to 15th February. Welcome back. You're watching Open Voice of the People. Now on is from abroad. Chinese efforts to exert covert influence over the West are just as concerning as Russia's subversion, the director of the CIA said. Mike Pompey told the BBC that Chinese have much bigger footprint to carry out such covert activities than Russia's do. He also said he expected Russia to target the 2018 U.S. midterm elections. The U.S. intelligence community has said that it, is believed, it believes that Russia interfered in the 2016 presidential election. Mike Pompeo was the underline, the hardline Republican congressman before President Donald Trump appointed him as a post of CIA director. He briefs the president most mornings and dismiss as drivel, drivel recent claims in the book Fury and Fairy, firing Fury that Mr. Trump was not up to the, to the job. The BBC reported. Well, many thanks for joining us. That's all for now. Have a nice time.